Okay, first thing we're going to start with is in the backyard is that pool. Alright. Okay, it is an above ground pool. Yep. Hey, do not inspect. I above didn't, ground pools. I didn't think so. They are not part of the uh, inspection scope. Okay. okay. Do you think there's any life left or you wouldn't even give an opinion? I even know he wants it. Looking at that vinyl liner in there, you see how it's pulled away from all the walls? Yeah. I'll probably say no. The second you put water in there, you'll probably rip everything down. Okay. The walls are probably still good. You could probably buy a new liner and equipment for it, pump. Okay. Because I mean, the walls look pretty sound. Yeah. I would say new liner, new equipment. Right. It'd probably work. Okay. But then again, you may be at the cost of a new one. Right. How about this, this deck? Have the light? decking we're on. Yeah. As you can see, it hasn't been treated. Hasn't been taken care of. Right. I mean, it's still solid, structurally solid, solid, but we have no railings on this thing. Right. The boards are starting to deteriorate, so that's just kind of the way it is with it. So, I mean, I know it's kind of a safety hazard. Oh, it is. Tripping hazard. Yeah, big time. <laughs> and I mean, you know, he could probably paint it, make the boards last longer, because they're still solid. They're just they're just weathered looking. Right. Okay. Moving on. We'll go to the roof next. Yeah. That's an architectural shingle roof. Okay. It's about midlife. Midlife. So there's at least 12 years or so left to it. It's in good condition. It has some granular loss to it, but that's typical of an ageless roof. Right. Skylights are good. No problem with that. I recommend a gutter system. Okay. There isn't one here at all. Okay. Okay. And you can see with the chimney right there, you see how the wood is all kind of frayed and damaged at the bottom? Yep. It's also like that on the other side. We're on the roof side. Right. A little bit actually worse. I would recommend re reciding that thing with some new wood because you can't repair it. It's gone. It's just water damage and just age. It's frayed away. That's all it's done. Okay. Okay. Exterior envelope of the house is block. Yeah. Everything looks good there. There's no settling, cracking, anything. It looks solid. Awesome. Paint job looks pretty good on there too. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't paint the porch, left it yellow, or what yeah. the deal is with that, but that, yeah. that's the way it is. There are all the outlets or, or all the um, lights on the exterior, there's no bulbs in there. I checked them, they appear to be hot. So the fixtures are okay, just need light bulbs and glass uh, globes on there. Okay. Okay. Now, I did not inspect this shed. Uh huh. And inside of the electrical panel, it said do not turn on. And I think this is the reason why. Huh. You turn it on, you got some live power there, and that will kill somebody. Okay. That's enough of power to kill somebody. 60 amp, you're dead. Okay. Okay? So what, they need to be capped off, these things? Or yeah, what? they got to be capped off or uh, removed. Can you remove the breaker in the panel? Uh-huh. And just get rid of the, cap the wire inside the panel, everything is dead. You don't okay. have to worry about it. Okay. But if he wants it out of the way, or if he wants to use it for something, a hot tub or something, bang, he's got it right there. Okay. Back fence, just no good. Right. Training fence. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty dilapidated. Yeah, it's just... All flattened out just about. Okay. Um, the exterior outlets. Uh huh. They don't have cover plates. They're not tripping as GFIs, even though there's a GFI on that side. Okay. Okay. That kind of stuff. This door needs to be replaced. You can see it's got water damage in there. It's just no yeah. good. Yeah. This door just needs to be replaced. Yeah. Okay. Back that it was okay. I don't expect it, but everything ran. Water yeah. came out, no problem. Okay. Let's go into the garage next. Okay. There was that all I was talking about. Doesn't trip the GFI outlet there. She needs also cover plate. Okay. There's your main water shut off there. Yep. Okay. We also have a water softener on there. It's right over the side of this fence. It's old, doesn't appear to be working. Okay. Remove it. Remove it, okay. No good. No good? Yeah. Here's your electrical panel. 200 amp service coming in. Okay. Copper wiring in center. This is those outlets going back to that shed that we discussed in the ground right so here. Off. And this is for the pool. So they're off then, it's, it's safe. Right now it's safe, but somebody can easily turn this on and right. it becomes unsafe. Right. There are a couple breakers in here are double tapped. You oh. need to straighten it out, okay. put them on their own breakers. So if it doesn't use the pull, take it over here, or there's actually room down at the bottom. Okay. okay. If you see a board or a piece of drywall, dry, drywall over that, because you can't have that exposed like that, okay? So that's a simple, easy fix too. Okay. 
Did, uh, would an appraiser see that or fail that? Oh yeah, he'll see uh, it. It's conventional balloon. Oh yeah, he'll see it. Okay. okay. Can't miss it. If okay. he knows anything about electrical, he'll see it in a heartbeat. Okay. Alrighty. I'm gonna lock this. Water heater looks new. Water heater is new. Your old water heater. Okay. Now, see that? Yeah. That's an energy saving device on there. If you don't press this button, you will not have hot water. Oh. Okay? Now, is it necessary? No. You can right. bypass the whole system and just make it straight through and go in here. That's what I would do. Okay. There's no reason to have this because water heaters are designed to be on off, on off all the time. You don't need an energy saving device. Like is there that. any harm in leaving it there? Does it make it more faulty or something? It could trip off. I would, I would definitely just get rid of it and just go straight through. It takes nothing to get rid of that. Okay. Okay? Laundry here. Everything's in place. Now the other thing, this house has been re-plumbed with okay. CPVC. Okay. I don't know why. It didn't need to be? Uh... Because it was copper, right? No. I don't know what it was. If this house was polybutylene, they took every scrap out of here. Normally they don't do that. This house is of that age to be polybutylene, but it's gone. So it's CPVC anyways, it's good. Okay. I don't know why it was replumbed. Right. But it was. How long ago would you say it was replumbed? Not long ago. No? Like no. in the last 10 years? Yeah, sometime in the last 10 years, yeah. Alright. Garage. Everything's good in here. Everything's functioning like it should. Same thing with the laundry room. The laundry room. Right here. Okay. Why don't you guys step in for that turn right off here? Now. You see this garage door, the service door? Yeah. Yeah, this is a great exterior door. Is it? But when it comes to a garage door, right. Right. it cannot have glass in it. Ah. It has to be a fire rated door, which means it has to be a solid door. Okay. It's in there. They want to leave it. That's their decision to leave. But so so this material door. is fine. It's just it's the glass. glass. It has the glass yeah, in it. Yeah, it's glass. Okay. Unless it was a fire rated glass, we have no way of knowing. And looking at that door, I'll say no. Okay. okay. Because when it comes to a, the door that comes in from the garage to the house is the fire rated door, right. solid core door. You think the appraiser would fail that, that door? He might if he knows his business. If he knows I don't it. like the way these appraisers are. They shouldn't be getting their noses in this stuff, right. but they do. Okay? okay. Now back to the electrical. We have several switches right. that are just plain either missing or like that. You have another one right here. Yeah. One right there behind Kelly over here against that wall. Yeah. And we just have some cover plates that are missing too. So, okay. you know, just get those cleaned up. That's why I don't believe this house was a flip. Mm -hmm. uh, unless, like I said, the guy bought it and just put it for sale, signed right. in, did absolutely zero because he knows better and he could clean, have to clean that up. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Kitchen, you see the kitchen has been updated. I think it's been a little while since it was updated. Because the oven is old, yeah. it still functions, but it's old. Same with the cooktop. Yeah. Okay. We have no microwave or dishwasher here. The sink's okay. Garbage disposal is okay. Okay. Everything else. Uh, this outlet here does not work on a GFI. It has to be on the GFI. It's not tripping off on either of these GFIs. What about these? Those are okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. So if it, had, if it comes down to it, he may right. have to put a separate GFI in here. Fifteen bucks. Okay. 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 Throughout the entire interior, check every outlet, every window, door, everything like that. Mm -hmm. Every door in this house has no knob on it. They <laughs> took all the knobs. Except for the front door and the back door. Yeah. So they just need to be replaced. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have two windows in this house that the springs had sprung on. You okay. remember these yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. keeps the window hold. When you open it up, it keeps it up. And if it doesn't, it'll just continuously fall back down. Is it the end of the world? No. Right. And they're about 20 bucks a piece. Okay. So they're easy to repair or uh, replace too. Yeah. Doesn't need anybody with some special qualifications. And there's one back there. Next to the fireplace, same thing right there. Okay. Fireplace is okay. Fireplace is okay? Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a wood burning fireplace? 
Yes. So we can take on logs and all yeah, that stuff. Not big logs. We don't want to do that. Right. Okay. Uh, this is the hallway bathroom. Yeah. Everything is functional in here. Filled up the jetted tub. It is working correctly. But they did not leave us an access point to get in there to the equipment. Oh. They should have left the panel down here. Right. Around the exterior of the house or closet. I don't think there's a closet on this other side. No, there's not. No. No access to either one of these. Okay. Um, and also this outlet here. Yeah. This GFI is not tripping. It needs to be replaced with a new one. Okay. Once again, we're back to 15 whole bucks. Okay. And we're missing doors in the house. Right. Closet yeah. doors are missing and... Bathroom door. Bathroom door. This is like the most important one to have a door on. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, my thing there, the um, stopper doesn't work. The toilet here, yeah. the fill pipe in there continuously runs. I can't shut it off. So I shut off the valve down at the bottom while I was doing the inspection. Okay. So it just needs to have the, the tank rebuilt in the inside. Okay. And it's about 20 bucks. Okay. Okay. Shower is fine. Shower is fine. Yeah. Um, okay. The heating and air conditioning. I could not, due to today's temperature, I was going to run it in the heat mode. I could not get the system to respond to anything. Tried several times with this. I checked all the breakers, all the dis service disconnects. Everything is hot. So everything is there to work. The system is 21 years old. It's an old system. Right. I mean, you can get someone out here to check it out, but I pretty much guarantee he's going to say replace the unit. Yeah. Hate okay. to say it. Right. It is what it is. Yeah, well, 21 years is a long life. Yeah. I mean, you got a good roof left to this thing, solid house, everything mm -hmm. else is okay. Right. Uh, it's just that. Okay. Yeah. can't remember which one this was. Oh. Yeah, this is like, it made this thing out of rebar. Oh, really? My old one was solid, like this thick. Oh, this is like a little yeah, cheaper. That's why was so cheap. But it worked. I yeah, mean, got the water on. It, it broke it free, and that's all I needed it to do. <laughs> that's what mine looks like. Oh, well, does it? Mm -hmm. I can't believe you have one. What do you have one for? My husband probably bought it for something. Oh, okay. 